Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a boot camp instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. <laughs> don't worry, they can't hurt you. Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow, and that's where they stay warm. Survival specialists, huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side, too. Sometimes the males will kill and eat offspring that are not their own. To ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. Snake, you've got to think. Your mind is your most dangerous weapon. If things are getting too complicated, try to simplify your thoughts. You can also try calling Campbell for advice. Soldiers who have learned their trade in the heat of real combat know how to sleep whenever and wherever they can. There's a big difference between them and the kids who have only been exposed to VR simulation training. After playing for a long time, you should get some rest, too. People's reaction speed is slowest around 3 o'clock in the morning, and so is their judgment. If you're feeling drowsy, you should get some sleep. It's also important to be able to control your bodily functions. You never know when a long demo is about to begin, so make sure you're prepared to sit in front of the monitor for a long time if necessary. It's never a good idea to fight on too full a stomach. It'll make you groggy, maybe even sleepy. You should wait 30 minutes after eating before you play. Where I come from, a soldier who loses his head in combat is called a target. Military rations place an emphasis on calories. That's why it's best to use them along with some other type of nutritional supplement, such as vitamins or minerals. The weather in Alaska is very hard to predict. It can change on a dime. A lot of people say it's the worst weather in the world. A cardboard box, huh? Just like Zanzibar. It saved my skin more than a few times in outer heaven, too. Getting the maximum use out of ordinary on-hand objects is the first principle of survival. It's especially important in covert operations. I haven't forgotten what you taught me. A real master of warfare alters his strategy to cope with changes in the battlefield conditions. If you always follow the book, you'll be transparent to your enemy. According to the SWAT manual, the longest a shooter can stay adequately focused on his target is 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, the observer and the shooter change places. Sniping is usually a two-man job. Always use the most appropriate weapon for the situation. If you use a weapon that's not really doing the job, not only are you wasting ammo, but you're also putting your life in danger. Don't feel guilty about the soldiers that died from your bullets. They knew the risks they were taking, just like you. Don't say anything to tease or anger the person torturing you. If you make him mad, it'll be that much worse for you. You'll need to save your strength. Don't suddenly look into the dark. Look slowly from a light area to a darker area. If you do that, your eyes will gradually adjust and you'll be able to see better in the dark. Try not to play in the dark either. Don't use your gun unless you need to. If you can get out of a jam using just your hands and feet, then do it. If you can't, then go for the gun. Master, I... Don't say it, Snake. You still have a mission to accomplish. That's all you should be concentrating on right now. Master, you and I, we're nothing more than dogs, are we? That's not like you, Snake. Don't let what Sniper Wolf said bother you. Listen, there's not a soldier alive that doesn't question himself. And if there is one, he's nothing more than a murderer.
Pliskin, I saw someone wearing a cardboard box just now. A box? I don't know anything about that. You sure you weren't imagining things? Of course I'm sure. Do you think it's one of the members of Dead Cell? How should I know? I don't want to fight someone like that. Why not? Because it looks so dumb. Anyone who's willing to be seen like that must be completely insane. I mean, he's a psycho. There's no question about it. Oh. Uh, yeah. Snake, have you ever enjoyed killing someone? What are you talking about? I'm not sure. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between reality and a game. Diminished sense of reality, huh? VR training will do that. No. It was field training when I was a kid. I lied, Snake. I have more field experience than I can remember. It's not VR that's doing this to me. Raiden, we don't carry guns to take people down. We're not here to help some politician either. You can say that because you're a legend, a hero. I'm Jack the Ripper, a dirty reminder of a terrible mistake. Legends don't mean a whole lot. I was just a name to exploit, just like you. People will remember only the good part, the right part of what you did. There's no right part in murder, not ever. And we're not in this to make a name for ourselves. Then what are you and Otacon fighting for? A future. You can stop being part of a mistake, starting now. What am I? What am I supposed to do? Find something to believe in, and find it for yourself. And when you do, pass it on to the future. Believe in what? That's your problem. There's no such thing in the world as absolute reality. Most of what they call real is actually fiction. What you think you see is only as real as your brain tells you it is. Then, what am I supposed to believe in? What am I going to leave behind when I'm through? We can tell other people about having faith. What we had faith in, what we found important enough to fight for. It's not whether you are right or wrong, but how much faith you are willing to have. That decides the future. Listen, don't obsess over words so much. Find the meaning behind the words, then decide. You can find your own name. And your own future. Decide for myself? And whatever you choose will be you. I don't know if I can. I know you didn't have much in terms of choices this time. But everything you felt thought about during this mission is yours, and what you decide to do with them is your choice. You mean start over? Yeah, a clean slate, a new name, new memories. Hmm. Choose your own legacy. It's for you to decide. It's up to you. Let me